Cyclone Bipo Joy holds strong near the Gujarat coast of India. Well, this menacing cyclone continues to ponder its next move off the coast of India. A category 2 still at this point with estimated wind speeds of 105 miles per hour. It's at 21.1 north, 66.5 east, and is currently moving slowly and uh, maybe deliberately towards the northwest at about 6 miles per hour, paralleling the coast right now. We expect it to turn inland and make landfall in a couple of days. So that's 170 km per hour sustained winds with an estimated pressure of 956 millibars as of 3 p.m. Pakistan time this June 13th. So here is it, the storm's location on the map with its wind field which is quite expansive particularly on the southern side um, and uh, the storm very close to the coastline with tropical storm force winds just about reaching the coast at the moment. It's 283 kilometers from Dwarka, 338 from Nalia, 350 from Keti Bandar, 402 from Burj and 419 from Karachi. So a lot of population inside the uh, threat from this storm, not just for the winds but also for extensive rainfall which could cause major issues down the line. Its exact landfall location is still in doubt right now. Where will it be? Will it be further south along the coast of India or possibly near the border with Pakistan? That seems to be more likely right now. Large areas of very high precipitation expected in western Gujarat during and after the storm's landfall. South of the landfall zone will be worst with rainfall totals of 750 millimeters possible and very high rain rates which will lead to major flash flooding issues. Uh, near the storm's landfall location. So let's take a look at what our latest forecast is presenting and this is the storm's movement then. It will first move northerly and then start to turn quite uh, abruptly towards the northeast. Thursday probably the landfall and you can see there we have it projected pretty much right on the border between India and Pakistan and then it continues northeast there and dies off by the weekend just to the west of New Delhi. So in a few days there it will be dissipated. <clears throat> 105 miles per hour right now according to our latest estimate which is in line with AMSU. The IMD is slightly lower at 100 miles per hour, JTWC also at 105 and ADT is quite a bit lower at the moment so satellite imagery not so impressive according to those uh, estimates although they may not be centered properly. Uh, but still, the storm is looking decent and holding its intensity well with uh, an eye feature that's still trying to wrap itself around. Here's a JTWC forecast cone. Uh, I'm not sure how up to date that one is, but uh, the storm is still expected to uh, strike that area that's depicted on the screen there around the coast of northern, uh, northwestern uh, Gujarat. Here's the GFS model projection, the storm moving north and then northeast and the GFS reckons that there still could be time for further intensification and quite a bit of it there on that latest model there. Um, but realistically uh, the GFS does forecast that the storm will strengthen only by about 6 or 7 millibars so I don't, can't see that we're going to get as much intensification as what this model is showing. Again here's a close up of that landfall area. Uh, very interesting to see where that is, uh, right along that border once again and then moving inland. High populations involved there which will receive tropical storm force winds probably north of 10 million. And here is the expected um, reflectivity shown here once again from the GFS model and you can quite clearly see that the south side of the storm will always be the wettest side as it continues to move on eastwards and what's left of its circulation will continue towards New Delhi and up towards the Himalayas uh, so it will continue to pass along uh, and weaken relatively slowly compared to what we normally see in this region uh, and certainly its remnants will survive a little bit longer. And in terms of total precipitation, well, let's be thankful at least a little bit that the storm is not stalling over land. It is probably going to stall a little bit at sea and produce extremely high rainfall amounts. But even so, 
when it moves into land there uh, we're looking at still very high amounts of rainfall getting up towards 750 millimeters which is what was depicted earlier um, 25.6 inches there that's over 600 millimeters and even well inland there up to 12 inches 300 millimeters and over New Delhi as well probably getting a little bit there too but you can see out to sea nearly 50 inches there which is uh, well, we're thankful that's not happening in land and over in Karachi three inches there as well 75 millimeters sea surface temperatures remain good of course as you would expect they're around 29 degrees Celsius possibly pushing close to 30 degrees in some spots but sea surface temperatures are never going to be an issue for this storm and as you can see quite a lot of heat over India of course uh, going well up to towards 40 degrees Celsius in a few locations there and that's as of earlier today as well that's not even at the peak of the day so there we go very warm sea surface temperatures all the way up until landfall so here's a satellite imagery and you can see on this uh, more frequent images from uh, the Indian satellite how that storm has been developing and maybe that eye becoming a little bit clearer in the course of the afternoon hours there uh, looking very interesting gradual slow north movement at the moment it would appear according to that visible but according to what the uh, Navy is putting out at the moment, it is still northwest. And here's another view, broader view from the EU METSAT uh, showing the storm's uh, influence there, which is already along the coastline, and a big band towards the south and southwestern side, which is looking quite ferocious too. Here's satellite imagery from the Force 13 website. You can take a look at that for yourself on that link. And here's the infrared imagery showing how the storm's been developing. Maybe a little bit of dry air intrusion on that northern side or wind shear, not sure. Uh, but it has been stalling in intensity a little bit. Uh, but still, there is that chance this storm could strengthen further before landfall and a massive rain threat.